We found out yesterday that Chuck Todd, the anchor over there at Meet the Press, is going to hang it up. He's getting out of there. He's stepping down. Really sad. I'm going to miss that guy. Here he was giving his final valedictory, sanctimonious, screechy little taunt to everyone who still watches him. Listen. So I leave feeling concerned about this moment in history, but reassured by the standards we've set here. We didn't tolerate propagandists, and this network and program never will. But it doesn't mean sticking your head in the sand either. If you ignore reality, you'll miss the biggest story. Being a real political journalist isn't about building a brand. It's about reporting what's happening and explaining why it's happening and letting the public absorb the facts. Wow. Thanks for the lesson on how to be a real political reporter. That's Chuck Todd, and he's really one of the last good ones left, right? Just ask him. But did you catch that one little spot at the beginning? How did that go again? We didn't tolerate propagandists, and this network and program never will. Good to know. You know what, let's take this opportunity to look back at Chuck Todd's illustrious career just in the last several years as the host and anchor of Meet the Press. Remember when he was managing things during the COVID-19 pandemic? One of his frequent guests was Anthony Fauci. Let's watch. Why does a vaccinated person have to wear a mask? Okay, this is something that as we get more information, it's going to be pulling back that you won't have to. But currently the reason is that when you get vaccinated, you are clearly diminishing dramatically your risk of getting infected. That's one of the things we've got to make sure everybody understands. You dramatically diminish it. However, what happens is that you might get infected and get absolutely no symptoms, not know you're infected, and then inadvertently go into a situation with vulnerable people. And if you don't have a mask, you might inadvertently infect them. Okay, now, so let's unpack this for a minute because this comes just a couple of months after that same guy came on that same show and said, if you get vaccinated, you won't catch the virus and you won't spread the virus. Now he's saying, if you don't, if you get vaccinated, you probably won't get the virus, but you might get the virus, but you won't have symptoms and then you'll spread the virus. And it would be at that moment where Chuck Todd jumps in and says, wait a minute, you told us we weren't going to get the virus if we get the vaccine. Now you're changing things. And then, of course, by the way, Anthony Fauci goes on to say that's why you need to keep the mask because that'll keep you from spreading the virus, even though we know that he knew at that time that the mask wasn't stopping anyone from spreading the virus. So basically all of that was lies and from a government official. You know, when a government official lies, there's a word for that. What's it called? Hey, Chuck, remind me. We didn't tolerate propagandists. And this network and program never will. That's right. It's propaganda. Another form of propaganda is when somebody from the media doesn't actually look at an elected official or a politician in an objective way, scrutinizing their behavior, and just pretty much reads off whatever their publicist told them to say, like he did this time with Hillary Clinton. Watch. Welcome back. Hillary Clinton has a lot to say about Vladimir Putin. As Secretary of State, she famously called for a reset in U.S.-Russian relations, but Putin was having none of it. And by the time Clinton left office in 2013, Putin repeatedly attacked her in very personal terms. That animosity may have played a role in Russia's efforts to help Donald Trump in his 2016 campaign against Clinton. Perhaps he feared she'd have a much tougher policy against him. Wow, that is good stuff. Hey, Chuck, the check is in the mail. She wanted to be tough on Russia, but Putin was such a meanie, he wouldn't allow it. And that's why we had Russian collusion. What was that again about propaganda, Chuck? We didn't tolerate propagandists, and this network and program never will. Tolerate propagandists? Uh, speaking of Russian collusion, let's not forget Adam Schiff was a frequent guest. Well, look, I don't think it was uh, deliberate on the director's part, uh, but all I can tell you is um, reviewing the evidence that I have, um, I don't think you can conclude that at all, uh, far from it. Uh, and but, I think but you admit uh, that, it's uh, a circum all you have right now is a circumstantial case. Uh, actually, no, Chuck. Uh, I, I can tell you that the case is more than that, uh, and I can't go into the particulars, but there is more than circumstantial evidence now. So, um, again, I think... So you Director have Clapper, seen direct evidence of collusion? Uh, I don't want to go into specifics, but I will say that there is evidence that is not circumstantial uh, and, uh, and is very much worthy of investigation. So. Wow. Hey, one more time with feeling. We didn't tolerate propagandists. 
and this network and program never will. Yeah, never, never, except for those instances and all the other instances over the last several years. Chuck Todd, you did more than tolerate propagandists. You, you participated in the propaganda. That's it for tonight. We'll be back tomorrow, same time, same place. In the meantime, I'll see you on the radio.